It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the 49ers and the Jags. And it's coming right up on EA Sports. Smack dab in the middle of I-295 that encircles the city of Jacksonville in Northeast Florida. There's a good look at TIAA Bank Field. Today we hit double digits, week 10, and we've got a good one in store. As it'll be the San Francisco 49ers taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Alongside my partner Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at this Jaguar team. They coming off their very first loss of the year, suffered a week ago. Yeah, it will not be a perfect season, but I'm interested to see how they bounce. The Jaguars' defense rested and ready coming off the open week in their schedule. And the one we'll be watching is this man at corner. And he's been a key reason why this defense is ranked as the number one unit in the NFL. His ability to be in the right place nearly all the time and make big plays is a big reason why. They'll start with a run by Mitchell. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. That's a heck of an effort from Josh Allen getting in there defensively. Part of their struggles last week was getting these negative plays on first and second down. That's something they have to be wary of as this game continues. So a five-yard run the other way in the wrong direction, and that leads us to second and 15. The first carry now for Benny Snell. And good yard as he gets this one up to about the 23. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And the Jags get to him as Johnny goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Jacksonville defense back onto the field. Nothing on the scoreboard for either side here. 0-0 in the opening quarter as this next drive gets underway. They'll bring a tight end in motion right. Here's Mitchell now to kick off the drive. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field of the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. You look at this Jaguar defense. It's quite a unit, that's for sure. Number one in the NFL against the Pats. And since this is such a good unit of covering passes downfield, I think that last play is typical of what we might see. A lot of short passes, see if they can generate some run after the catch, but nothing doing on that one. Well, they get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. So the completion there, but Charles, looking at this defense, certainly in for a tough task here this afternoon. What are some of the keys for them if they want to come out on top? Well, the first thing, partner, is they just allow the completion there. They don't want to get a string of those going. Let them get his confidence. Let him get into the rhythm of the game, the flow of the game, and all of a sudden, he's feeling like he can do no wrong. You want to really get after his timing a little bit, knock a few balls away, and make things uncomfortable for him. Because if he feels relaxed, 
you are in for a tough afternoon. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. They'll run the screen with Mitchell. And he'll be taken down well before the first at about the 36-yard line. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. The Jags defense back on the field for this next possession. They'll try to force the stop here in the second quarter of what's been a scoreless game to this point. First down, here's Mitchell. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Back to throw, Darnold. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. Josh Allen in there to get him. Sack number 14 for him on the year. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. one for three thus far. This will be third and a mile. And a pressure gets to him again. It'll be a sack and a loss of three, but more importantly, it brings up fourth down. That's three sacks now. That's not much of a surprise to me, nor should it be to you. This team, they lead the league in sacks. Yeah, they do. This is something that we are starting to witness time and time again. Jacksonville defense back onto the field. They lead 7-0, trying to put a stop together here as this drive starts with a first down. On first down, Darnold. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Mitchell. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. That's another incomplete to Mitchell. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down. They just said, we got faith in our tackles. We'll give you the short stuff. And just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and...
The Jags defense back on the field for this next possession. They'll play with a lead here to begin this third quarter. Looking for another solid half of football to carry them to victory. Second half begins with a carry by Mitchell. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Darnold now to throw. And that will get the off target and incomplete. Right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defenses because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. That was an incompletion force there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're a step ahead of their offensive counterparts. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Holding offense. Umpire through the flag usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpire's got different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Screen play setting it up for Mitchell. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. That means everyone on the offensive side of the ball, but someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. The Jacksonville defense back onto the field. They've been the dominant side so far, working with a two-score lead here in this third quarter as this next drive gets underway. On first and ten, Darnold. And his throw is incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. A second and ten forthcoming here. Third quarter action from Jacksonville. Now it's Darnold. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. 22 yards there, a first down. Well, that's the kind of play that was lacking all the way through the first half. Maybe this can give them a little bit of a spark because they're not out of this game by any stretch. From the gun, a give to Mitchell. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's a second and seven. On second down, here's Mitchell. They'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. To throw is Darnold. Able to haul it in is Kittle. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 36. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. Darnold on first down. And the 
the Jags get to him as down he goes. Josh Allen picks up his second sack of the afternoon. He's NFL sack leader coming into the game, and now that's two more that he's added to his total. He wants some separation from spot one and two in that sack category. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Darnold. To the right side, it's caught by Mitchell. Give him five on the screen play, and that'll set up a third down. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Jacksonville. It's 49er football, but some ground to cover. They find themselves behind as we hit the fourth and final quarter. Third and long, it's Darnold. And it's complete to Mitchell. There he goes, right side. And now look at this, big gain, the fumble. And the Jags grab it. Okay, this isn't one where you want to take the game tape and hold it up as an example, do you? I mean, you talk about frustrating all the way through. And that last error, I think that crystallizes it, doesn't it? Absolutely, that's been representative of their entire game still being shut out. The Jags defense back on the field for this next possession. They've pitched the shutout here into the fourth quarter. Been sensational. The question, can they finish it off? They'll need to come up with another stop here. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. And they're going to speed things up here. Darnold from the gun. That's complete. It's Kyle Juszczyk. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Under pressure now. Donald, and he goes down. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Donald's throw pulled in by Kittle. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. scan the field there it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice the protection was that good unfortunately for him the coverage downfield equally good and they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down so trailing here in the last quarter let's see how this plays out Jags take over in terrific field position. The Jacksonville defense back onto the field. They put in a very good shift so far, and this one pretty well in hand. Just looking to finish strong here in the fourth as this next drive starts first and ten. A first down throw, Darnold. 
toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Give them credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Here's Darnold. That's complete. It's Devin Duvernay. 22 yards there, a first down. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, but after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Second down and 10, Darnold. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. As they say, this game hasn't exactly been one for the books. I mean, we're into the fourth quarter here, and now this happens, another turnover. Not one that they're going to hold up and say, yeah, this has been a banner day. Absolutely. Still sitting on zero. The Jags defense back on the field for this next possession. They'll be summoned one more time here in the final minute of this football game. On first down, it's Darnold. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. Josh Allen, who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. So this will be a win for Jacksonville. And this was truly a total team effort, Charles, on both sides of the ball. But they absolutely pitched a shutout, so it can't get much better than that, right? The defense led the way, but the offense did their part as well. They moved the ball up and down the field. So you've got to like what you saw. What do they call that? A total team effort? I think when it's time to hand out game balls, guys from both sides will end up getting one. So for Jacksonville, they're setting themselves up as a major contender as they move to 8-1 and one now on the year. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for the 49ers, the loss will drop them to 6-3 and three now on the year. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week.